Currently here, the heat will also slowly increase as we turn to a pinpoint weather alert. Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraka is in the Weather Center tracking some storms that are moving through, Tony. Yeah, northern part of the state, uh, Brian and Kim, uh, just leaving the Foster Gloucester area, heading now towards Greenville, Johnston, and just to the west of Providence. We're noticing out in the, uh, uh, the weather window the skies off to the uh, northwest getting uh, dark. And you mentioned that high humidity. These, these downpours and storms uh, feed off that, some of that high humidity. So some downpours. Take a look at Doppler radar. We'll set the stage here. Uh, this is very localized stuff. In fact, most areas not seeing any rain or thunder, but you can clearly see the line is stretching from about uh, Hartford, Willimantic, Connecticut, northeast Connecticut, into the uh, northwest part of the state, just to the north and west of Providence right now. Everything south and east of the city, there's no rain or thunder, but the risk, uh, the chance for scattered showers and thunder further to the south over the next couple of hours is there. So we'll zoom in real close. This is 44, and this is Route 6 in Providence right in here. It's this one cell now. Now approaching Route 295, Smithfield, North Smithfield, North Smithfield. This is lined up right along 295, more than likely really slowing down traffic. Here's a close-up look. You see our lightning icons indicating some cloud-to-ground uh, lightning strikes, uh, downpours, poor visibility, gusty wind, even the potential, not for large, but for small hail. So they're not considered severe, meaning big hail or really extreme wind, but they're certainly high impact. And we know that the winds are gusty, and I mentioned this earlier, this little feature right in here, this little skinny line, watch it, right in here in advance of the thunderstorms. This is called a gust front, and that's usually a tip-off that these storms are producing uh, some gusty wind as they are tracking off now to the east and uh, southeast at about 18 miles per hour. There's more on the Connecticut uh, Rhode Island border, so this is getting ready to move into downtown Providence uh, very shortly, so obviously the timing is lousy uh, with the uh, evening commute. As we widen out the view, well, first of all, take a look at the North Situate right now, where visibility not too bad as the storms are just to your north. Uh, however, some downpours and thunder uh, can certainly, or you can see it off in the distance, so uh, showers and storms likely here. And you can see the skies getting dark north and west of Providence. So we're looking off to the, to the uh, west. And that's where the storms are approaching, essentially from uh, northwest to a southeast. So this scene will change significantly in the next 30 to uh, 45 minutes. In the meantime, it is mild and muggy. Temperatures that were in the 70s have cooled back into the 60s. So our threat tracker is elevated through about 7 o'clock this evening. So your Friday evening plans, I think once we get beyond 7, 8 o'clock this evening, we're in the clear as far as any showers or storms. But from now through about 7 o'clock, scattered showers, a few strong thunderstorms embedded and some downpours as well. This sets the stage for a warm, summery, and mainly dry weekend. Dry meaning no rain, but rather humid. And this whole system responsible for some of the scattered storms right now. This will be pulling offshore later in the evening and overnight. And look at all this real estate back here where it's just kind of clear and dry. That is our summery sunshine coming up. Uh, for this weekend. So by 7 o'clock in the evening, what's left of these showers and storms pulling away, then gradual clearing later in the evening and during the overnight. Here we are at 7 o'clock in the morning. Now, if you have beach plans early, just be mindful early in the morning. You'll have some lingering fog along the coastline, but by late morning, it should be gone. Sunshine, and look at these temperatures mid 80s inland, mid to upper 80s inland, and 70s at the coastline. Here we are tomorrow evening at 5 o'clock, looking good. And your Saturday evening, Saturday night looks like a beautiful. Beautiful summer night, and it gets even warmer on Sunday. And that's the official start of the heat wave. You need three consecutive days of 90 or higher, and we're forecasting that Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday of next week. Brian and Kim with temperatures in the low 90s. In the short term, keep an eye to the sky. North and West WPRI.com is always to get your updated forecast.